NASA had intriguing news from deep space today. Its Kepler telescope has found an Earth-like planet. The kicker, this one could be habitable. The CBC's Ian Hanamansing has the details. So, I mean, they found Jupiter-like worlds. At Vancouver Space Center, they talk a lot about life on distant planets, and never has it seemed so near. It's pretty exciting because really we're, 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 we're less than a few steps away from finding out whether life could exist elsewhere. This is Kepler-22b, what NASA believes is the closest thing yet to our planet. Spotted by the Kepler telescope, it's about two and a half times bigger than Earth, likely a comfortable 22 degrees Celsius. It looks a little bit like our world, and... The, the second thing that's really exciting is that it's orbiting a star very, very similar to our own sun. This morning's detection of an unidentified radio source from deep space can neither be confirmed nor denied. The possibility of extraterrestrials has long inspired writers who often assumed planets and life upon it would be unrecognizable. They were, I now saw, the most unearthly creatures it is possible to conceive. Retired English professor Mason Harris is reading from H.G. Wells' War of the Worlds. A place like Earth, though, opens up a new world of possibilities. But if it's a planet very like ours, then the chance of intelligent life evolving on it clearly is very strong. And they might be mammals, they might be, be practically human, just like us. I am pretty confident that there is life in space. Whether we would find that in my lifetime, given the distances that we're talking about, I, I wouldn't put money on that. It will take 600 years for this broadcast to reach Kepler 22b. Maybe someone will send a message back. Ian Hanamansing, CBC News, Vancouver.